Wow, it's super windy today. <laughs> oh my! Hi guys, my name is Tina aka Tokyo Diaries and as you have seen in the title and as you can see here in the background I'm standing in front of a Japanese supermarket because today I want to show you how a Japanese supermarket looks like. I thought that's a topic that many people are interested in. I asked you about it on Twitter and many people um, gave me their opinion, like their first impressions, what they like, what they don't like. So that was already really interesting because I myself personally, I only know supermarkets in Germany and here in Japan. And in every country it's a little bit different. What I also wanted to mention is that we are not directly in central Tokyo. Um, because in central Tokyo, of course, supermarkets are slightly smaller and they have less options. And I wanted to show you today as much as possible. It's really windy. Um, so therefore we came to this station, I, I would say 30-40 minutes away from Shinjuku, to this place. So yeah, I think this will be exciting, so let's go! Today we are going to Itayokado, which is a shopping mall, including a supermarket. Itayokado joined 2005 Seven Eye Holdings, which is the company that owns 7-Eleven in Japan which makes most of the products just a tiny little bit more expensive than usual. However, please remember that currently at the moment, it is 2022, the yen is weak, so prices don't seem as expensive. Here are like 230 yen, and in my supermarket they are 200 yen or 150, something around that. Because it's summer, they are selling everywhere um, watermelon. But like, these are the expensive ones. There are definitely cheaper ones as well. <laughs> Damn it. Can't afford that. Or I don't want to, maybe I could. And the small ones are like 800-ish yen. The avocado at my place are like 200, 150 yen. Something between 100, 200 yen. It's more like it. These are like a little bit expensive, not too big. Like here's my hand. And this is always cute here. Mini tomato. Super, super small. And they are already like 200 yen. Like one lettuce is... What's the price? Like 200 yen? Yes. So these are 100, 150. Oh, wow. That's cool. Look what we found. That's rare. Ooh. Two, 130 something ish. Yeah. Let me know if you think it's expensive. This is tuna. Ah, okay, okay, kein problem. Again, this is like 500 yen. I would say I would normally pay more like 400 yen, something between. Everything is like slightly more expensive than at my supermarket. so expensive to me. Like it's pretty big. This seems cheap, more or less. But this is not in general a very cheap supermarket, but like, yeah. Feel free to compare the prices here to your own supermarkets. This is slightly reduced, you can see that this is red here. Interesting. If you go to a bigger supermarket, you can actually find uh, soya meat. So, soy meat. Like this. 
Mm. So really cute. Love this one for open to. as well. They really have a full selection here. Yeah. Look at the size. <laughs> oh. A tofu. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can get here some tofu products. What you don't get at the supermarkets that are imported products. I see like 400 yen. At my supermarket it's cheaper. It's like 300 yen. Again, it's around 100 yen. Everything is a little bit more expensive. And these are like the types of trees that you find everywhere. Still the selection here is kind of bigger because yeah, normally you have like only this much and here you have this much. See the difference? And they're usually like seven slices to twelve slices. <laughs> I just want to show wasabi. wasabi. Oh my! And they probably have like different, like chocolate. Here's chocolate flavored. Yeah, I don't know if this is cheese. Yeah. How do you call this in English? Like hard cheese, but with flavor. So it's more snack than anything else, really. And they even have peach flavor. Oh. And lemon and so so many straw oh my gosh strawberry cheese fondue this is exciting you normally don't have as much cheese in japan butter is like also 200 yen here this place oh here never seen this this is only deutsch no this but it's something imported oh my gosh here you have a vegan front from Germany. Okay. So this is vegan cheese. My head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Ghana. Yeah, Ghana is a Japanese or oh, no, maybe a Korean. You see this everywhere in Japanese supermarkets and then we've got Nutella. <laughs> On something. This is the oh okay. This is Japanese, yeah. Anpa um Anko red bean paste. much bread that is like German bread. This comes kind of close but this is still sweet bread. Yeah, this is still sweet. Kuchen! Hey? Oh! Kuchen! Chocokuchen. Oh my god! Chances are high that you won't find Nutella and something similar in Japan. What they sometimes sell is stuff like this. These are like tasting nothing like Nutella. This is chocolate cream though. This is just a regular cream flavored cream <laughs> and sugar toast and Japanese donuts, my ladies and gentlemen. Do you have these donuts in America or somewhere else? Because we don't have really donuts in Germany. Ah, uh, sometimes, but not sometimes. Much. They have other donuts as well, but these are called donuts, and we don't have as many really in Germany donuts. So I don't know. I can't compare. of different Pokemon themed threads but like so many 
Pikachu. So, so many. Wow. Could make a whole video only about the Pokemon collaboration in the supermarket. <laughs> this is also something that we like, or I think everyone likes, kind of. Oh yeah, I had, I had this. I had something similar like this. They were selling something around Christmas, huh. and I found the last one my supermarket was selling. <laughs> and it was actually really good. Like there's actually chocolate inside. But they have like everything. This is the cream hamburger. Apple, melon something, melon, jam, hoipu, something. Which is maybe also interesting for you is that they are sometimes selling like bread just three slices in one package. So you find a lot of things in Japan for one person that you can buy here. But they also have these bigger packages. But they don't last that long so sometimes it's smart to buy a smaller one actually. Yeah, I've never seen these before. I can actually make those convenience store sandwiches here yeah, sweet potato bread mm. and the size here <laughs> so cute i'll eat it they have a lot of these like small ones here as well Chicken. I'm not sure if it's also chicken still. Oh yeah, wow, but huge amount of tempura. Yoga. This is all very good for like one person if you're living alone. What is this? This is auch gyoza, but pink. Ach so, Ebi. Oh my god. And pink gyoza. Which is Megi. Okonomiyaki. You can buy everything here at the supermarket. Lasagne. The pasta is not bad. Like, you should try pasta at... These pre-made pastas are sometimes really good. Like, at least the ones at the convenience store. And this is also something that you maybe can, not maybe, that you can find only in the summer. It's a soup. It's a soup. Where's this a soup? These are like noodles and... And the sauce for it. Oh, okay. Okay. Aber hier haben sie eigentlich, das haben sie im Kombini auch im Moment. Wie gesagt, ich habe nicht laut, warum nicht genug laut? Tim Tam, ich glaube ich auch. Some imported stuff, like for example, this is from Korea. This is also a lot of, but these are really good. Yeah. Here's some German. Just, ah, Ritter Sport. Mine is a little bit cheaper. This is like the same price. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section your opinion. Let me know more about the supermarkets in your country. I'm really interested in this, so let me know for example what they don't have. Um, or what they have in Japan that they don't have in your country or whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I'm kind of jazz. 
and I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.